Good morning. Today I'm kind of doing a uh, day in the life video. Um, got lots of different stuff on the go. I've got um, some cleaning inside and outside, kind of cleaning house maintenance stuff. And then I've got some seasonal decor I need to put away. Yes, I still have Easter out in a part of my house. Um, and then I also need to, um, I have to measure our mudroom and order some, I want to place an order for flooring. And then later this afternoon, I have my mom coming over. Uh, she's kind of helping me. We have these curtains hung up around our house. I'm not, a, I don't sew. Uh, so she's coming over to kind of help me sew them all. So they're going to be a proper length. So yeah, I'll kind of take you around and uh, show you what my day's like. One of the first things that I had to do this morning was fill up our hot tub. Uh, the water was getting a little low, so I just ran over, got the hose, and uh, stuck it in and started putting some water and kind of topping that up. It didn't take, it doesn't take too, too long. Um, honestly, like less than 15 minutes just to do a top up in the hot tub. So now I'm just making uh, some oatmeal muffins. Uh, they're one of my favorite muffins to make. I am not doing these from scratch, actually. I just buy the bags of, um, comes in a bag, compliments. I get it from Sobeys, makes two good sized batches. It's super simple and easy to make. And Dylan and I love having them for like breakfast and snacks. As I mentioned earlier, my, Mom is coming today to help me sew some curtains. Those are obviously too long. We did uh, those ones the last time she was here. So we got her sewing stuff out here. I gotta put this Easter uh, runner away. I've got an empty bin there, so I'm gonna get going and get all the Easter stuff finally put away. So one of the tips I can give you is you'll notice as I'm putting the decor away, I'm using uh, reusable Ziploc bags to basically sort like with like. And I do this to keep everything very organized when it goes in the bins. And I also do this because I don't do the same thing every year. I don't put the stuff in the same spot every year. Sometimes I change up themes. So if I have everything sorted, um, you know, all the bark in one plastic bag and all the moss and all the Easter eggs or the bunnies. If I keep, if I sort like with like, it makes it a lot easier every year when I'm creating a new theme and a new idea to basically get what I need out of it. It's all organized. It's not just a big heaping mess in the bins. So if you're storing seasonal stuff, that would be one of my uh, tips to you is make sure you're storing like with like. All right, so I've got all the Easter stuff done and put away. I've washed the cups. I just gotta put those in the cabinet over there. And my mom was here. She got those curtains done. So now the dining room curtains are done. Uh, so I've just kind of put her sewing stuff away. She's gonna come uh, next week. She'll come for a day and do uh, the ones in the piano room are a little long. So she's gonna do those ones as well. And then uh, the ones over in our living room are done and okay as well too. So she's gonna come back, help me do those four, and then, uh, then we should be good temporarily until we decide to hang out more curtains. 
I'm still going to, later today, I'm gonna to take out the leaves in the table so we can shrink that down and put some of these chairs in storage because um, we don't need the 13 foot table out all the time, especially because we're not doing any hosting right now. So yeah. In our mud room, which is going to be the next project that we're doing at this house, I've got everything kind of sketched out here for the plans. And we just finished measuring the flooring samples that we need, so I'm going to get those ordered. Um, and then we got to get the cabinet guy out to quote, and then we'll move ahead with that, and then we'll basically start a demo and I'll take you along the process, but it should be, uh, it'll be good. This wall is coming down, which will really kind of open up this, this space and we'll be adding a few more light fixtures to kind of brighten it up in here. The project that I'm gonna do today is kind of tackle our front porch. Um, this is all old furniture that we had when we moved in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move all of this stuff. Everything I want off the porch. I'm going to sweep it down, spray it down, get everything kind of nice and clean, like a fresh clean slate. And then I'm going to, um, I'm expecting a new outdoor rug. It's going to be a bit bigger than that one. That's coming in today. I've put up some ferns. Um, I've ordered planters and new patio furniture, but it's probably not going to be here for another week or two. So it'll look kind of bland for now, but I'm just going to leave it as a nice clean slate and then kind of slowly put, to, put it together as those uh, as the furniture comes in. So yeah, I'm going to get started. Okay. Got a clean slate here. So it's time to start the cleanup. places that I might want to scrub a little bit better. It's already starting to dry it's such a nice day out. So all the furniture, we're keeping all the furniture, we're just moving it to kind of the back for some more seating. And then I've got a few of the planters and doormats there that I do want to keep. Once everything's dry, I'll bring that back up. And then uh, if the rug comes today, I'll put it out and show you what that looks like. Uh, I'll be doing a video more so on the porch, but uh, yeah, that's as far as I can get until the stuff gets delivered. Right. I'm so excited for this rug. I'm going to wait. It's still like a couple wet spots on the porch. So I'm going to wait a little bit. It's a nice thick Elgar rug. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit and then uh, open it up and put it out. I'll show you guys what it looks like when I open it up. about to say good morning. It's not morning, good afternoon. Um, I've been out all morning with um, some clients for showings. I did not vlog that for privacy reasons, obviously. Um, 
I'll get some shots. If Dylan and I go out to view properties um, for, for some investments, I can take you around and show you some of that, but now with clients. Um, I am going to head home now and then when I, uh, I can have some lunch and then see what the weather's like. I need to head over to, um, one of our investment properties. We need to add a fire escape. So I need to go there and make a materials list and I've got the permits, um, with me too. So I can basically say, um, match them. What am I trying to say? I'm blanking right now. I need to obviously follow the permits and make a material list and uh, get that ordered for delivery hopefully next week. And then uh, Dylan and I can put that together next week. So I'll show you the fire escape too. If that's why you're interested in watching us build a fire escape next weekend. But yeah, I'm gonna head home and get some lunch. Just taking a little bit of a break. Letting the pops out. We're in tango hiding. <laughs> it's a little hot out, so they're both hiding in the shade. Right, bud? Yeah. Where are you going, Prince? Yeah, we don't have much shade in our backyard. Even this tree, because it's so early in the season, it, it will provide a lot of shade, but not quite yet. So we won't be out here too long at this temperature with these guys. Right? It's too hot out for you. Good evening. Uh, so when I got home from my showings, I had some lunch. Uh, and then I actually Dylan and I actually spent the entire afternoon outside in the backyard, kind of doing some yard cleanup uh, and some pool maintenance stuff. Um, but we did do, I actually picked, I'll show you in a second, we were able to pick some fiddleheads. Uh, Dylan made chili today in the crock pot too, which is kind of funny because it's just a hot day and chili is normally something you make when it's cold. But he made some chili today. And then I also picked some dandelions and I've got those drying as well because um, dandelions are actually really amazing for lots of different recipes and you know you can eat them and make soaps and all this crazy stuff so I went around and picked some fiddleheads and some dandelions today. So we got quite a few fiddleheads. Uh, I'm gonna get those washed up and we're gonna have those for dinner tonight and then I've got my dandelions out they're starting to kind of dry up um, these I'm going to turn into dandelion oil um, and then make uh, you can make homemade lotion out of this and it's actually the dandelion ingredient is really good for uh, joint pain and you know a few other things and then I've got uh, this is Dylan's work of art the uh, vegan chili uh, now I'm going to pick fresh, there's a cookie recipe, uh, like a shortbread cookie recipe that's like rosemary and dandelion. Uh, it sounds amazing, but uh, you need fresh dandelions. I don't have all the ingredients, so we're going to do groceries tomorrow. I'm going to get the ingredients and then I can go out and pick some fresh dandelions and then we can make those cookies. 